Hello everyone, we are Adam Huang and Yuan Hengshi from Carlton College. Today we are going to talk about escape velocity. First, let's watch a recent video of SpaceX launching a Tesla vehicle into the space. And we are going to present a problem based on that video. Five, four, three, two, one, two. So let's talk about our problem. We have a rocket here with a certain initial velocity. We want to calculate the minimum of that initial velocity such that it can fly out of Earth's orbit and go to Mars. This introduces to our topic today of escape velocity. To derive the escape velocity, the first thing you need to know is the law of conservation of energy. This law states that the total energy in a system will always be the same. By this law, the gain of kinetic energy will equal to the loss of potential energy. In mathematical notation, we have the equation negative delta u equals to delta k. This is such an important law in physics. And delta u is the change of potential energy, and delta k is the change of kinetic energy. So what indeed is kinetic energy? Think of you going down an incline. You have an initial velocity at the top of the incline and the final velocity at the bottom of the incline. It turns out that the kinetic energy depends on the mass of the object and the speed of the object. The following is the exact formula. Delta k equals to 1 half m v non square minus 1 half m v final square where v0 is the initial speed and vf is the final speed. Let's also examine potential energy in more details. In this problem, we care about a particular type of potential energy, the gravitational potential energy. We have the formula delta u equals to gravitational constant g times mass of the earth me times m divided by r minus g m e m divided by r e, where r e is the radius of the Earth. By the graph here, we know that the gravitational potential energy is always a negative number. And when r goes larger and larger, the potential energy also becomes larger. So we got enough knowledge to derive the escape velocity. By the law of conservation of energy, we have the following two equations. And g m e m divided by r e minus g m e m divided by r equals to one half m v non square minus one half m v final square. When r goes to infinity and v final equals to zero, this is the moment when the object has completely left the orbit of the Earth. So we have g m e m divided by r e equals to 1 half m v non square and v non equals to square root of 2 g m e divided by r e. So let's do the calculation. We have obtained the formula v non equals to square root of 2 g m e divided by r e. Here are the three constants needed for the calculation. Each is given a specific value. We plug them into the formula and we have the escape velocity 11,186 meters per second. So let's summarize what we have learned. First, kinetic energy. This is a type of energy that depends on the mass of the object and the speed of the object. Second, potential energy, which is a type of energy that is always negative and depends on the distance from the Earth. And also, the law of conservation of energy which states that a system's total energy will always be the same. And finally, the escape velocity. And we have derived a formula for it, which is square root of 2 g m e divided by r e. Given the knowledge you have learned in this lesson, here is an extra question for you. Suppose there is air resistance in the Earth's atmosphere. Will the escape velocity be bigger or smaller? 